Kishore tells his story. And this is Kishore? Yes. <laughs> well, how old are you, Kishore? I'm 18 years old. I was born in 1982. And where were you born? Huh? Where were you born? I was born in Hatora. Hatora in Nepal. I was not in Kathmandu. And I come, when I was 11 years old, I come to Tamil in the street. You know? Why? Why? Because I got a problem. I have a two mom. Because my uh, a, a two mom my, I means I got my own mom. She run away from house. You know, she take another husband, and I don't like to go with her. And my father bring another wife. You know, and before was when I was like a uh, like a seven six years old, I go to school, and that time I got my own mother. You know. And when I was like uh, uh, 10 years old, and my, my, when I was eight years old, my mom's run away. And my mom's take another husband, you know? And when I was 11, I go to school every day, every time, every day, me and my sister, you know? And my sister already married, married. she has uh, two children. And I'm uncle. <laughs> and see, and after, uh, ten, ten, after 10 years old, and I, uh, my, uh, my father bring new wife, you know, new wife, and my father bring new wife, and 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 she has also one son, you know. My father, uh, what I have to tell you, my father, you know that, you know, and uh, my my uh, I got new brother, new Nick brother, you know, Nick brother, Nick brother I have, you know? and she born and she's like when he's like a two years old, you know. And I have to care about him, you know. Yeah, you know and, and, and that's why I got a problem, yeah. I got a problem, and and, and I got an example, you know. Exam, you know, exam mm -hmm. in my school. And I do all exam, and after when I come, I got last one exam, you know, last one. And after finish, and that time I come house and she beat me very hardly, you know. That time I was so smaller, not bigger, smaller, like uh, you know that milk boy. Mm -hmm. Same like that, and she beat me very hardly, you know. And I don't like to stay in my house, you know. Really, I think she's stupid. I think like that. I don't like to stay in the house, and I stay one night in the street. I, I take my house, before, uh, not in Kathmandu, but uh, near. We have to go by from Chitwa National Park, yeah. And I take my house from one book and one pen, yeah. One book and uh, one pen, and I, I come outside, I sleeping in the street one night and morning time I wake, I got a uniform, a school in uniform, you know, I wear and I go to school, I do my last exam and I come to the street and and I, I talk some little like a Nepali man, you know, my friend, can you help me to take Kathmandu? And I my father, my father was working in Kathmandu, you know, that time. When when my father in with me, my new Nick Nick mother doesn't can beat me. My father doesn't beat me once level, so you know he loves me. He loves me, and I come to Tamil, and I street I stay long time in the street, you know, and I remember street friend all gather, and we be friend and I, I know that time before time I know little bit little bit English, you know I learn in school, and I, I speak to his friend and I, I learn many many things with tourist people, you know, well, that's all. Nothing, Mike. On one of our small trips, we went to Budhanokanta, where there's a large statue of Vishnu sleeping on a bed of snakes. There is also a small temple where men played instruments and sang all day long. During the ceremony of this Vishnu, and in the afternoon and the night time he did us washing for Badish Vishnu. And he, when he is married, he is not able to climb on Vishnu. Only the unmarried priest. <coughs> and this statue was found in the white field between 7 and 8th century. Who found his name is Kalbuta and Elkanta. Thank 
After visiting Buno Alcanta, we hiked through the terraced farmland. One very important thing I noticed was that the boys played a lot. They were just boys being boys. Through any tough circumstances they faced, they played out their childhood the best they could. The boys stuck together like a family, and when one was hurt, the others helped. Here we see Ramas putting burn cream on Bishnal's hand. Then Kishore helps to put his arm in a sling. <laughs> Vishnel burned his hand one night when he rolled over in his sleep because he was cold, and his hand fell into the fire the boys had built for warmth. It takes a certain kind of person to work with children in a poor country. It takes an intense emotional strength and stamina. At times I was worried that this experience would jade me, that it might grind me down to something short of apathy. It was something I had to keep in check and remind myself of. My morning writings were always full of hope, but at night, as I absorbed experiences of the day, my writing would turn dark. My idealism and altruistic nature were battling with the harsh reality that I was only a temporary relief for these children. I wasn't going to solve any problems, and soon I would have to leave. And yes, there were girls living on the streets as well. I ran into a woman from Portugal who was doing essentially the same thing as me. We both agreed that under different circumstances, all of these children could do extremely well. <laughs> <laughs> 